Hello everybody, today I'm at Spirit Ford taking a look at this 2023 Ford Connect 350 uh, HD all-wheel drive. It's got a 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6 and a 10-speed automatic transmission. Starting off up front, we are going to get this massive, massive grille to allow for maximum airflow. This guy does have the 360 degree camera system, so your front facing camera is right there underneath the Ford logo. Parking sensors integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper. You also have the Bi Xenon HID uh, headlights as well as some incandescent accent lighting and signals. Fog lights are going to be right down here. Massive trailer tow mirrors with your 360 degree camera being right there. This guy does have uh, your regular massive mirror right here as well as your blind spot mirror. It does not have blind spot monitoring on this particular model. Massive front driver and passenger windows, matte black door handles. Looks like we have this nice, thick, very wide uh, step to assist getting in and out of the vehicle. This guy is a dual rear wheel setup. So we have these nice fender flares. Very, very long vehicle as well. Coming around to the back, we have your incandescent tail lamps. Parking sensors integrated into the upper portion of the bumper. Four pin and seven pin trailer connectors. Your Ford badge is gonna be on the passenger side. Your all wheel drive EcoBoost badge and your Transit 350 HD badge is going to be on the driver side. All the way up top there, you have your third brake light with your backup camera. This thing is so, so big. Coming to the driver's side door, we have your keyless entry system and your capless fuel fill port is gonna be right here, but you have to open the door to access it, which is pretty pretty cool uh, security feature. I actually really like these vehicles a lot. I also love the Transit Connects. Um, if you're doing something for a business and need a lot of cargos, cargo space, this is the vehicle for you. If you wanna kinda of do a, a van life living, this is definitely the van for you. Let's take a closer look now at the interior, but before that I do want to point out this guy also comes with uh, clearance lamps up top. Alright, so something that I love about these transit vans is the massive amount of visibility you have out of the windshield as well as front windows. I love, love, love these vans. Starting off over here on the left side, you're going to have the window controls for the front two uh, windows. Your mirror adjustment control right here. Rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle, as well as your fog lights and dimmer switch for your instrument cluster. Right here we have a nice little storage uh, tray that can hold a water bottle. Actual cup holder right here. Coming up top to the dashboard, we have tons of storage, USB-C and a 12 volt outlet for the driver. Storage here in the middle and over on the passenger side, as well as storage up top. Coming down to the steering wheel, we have a rubber rised steering wheel with mild bolsters at 10 and 2. Right over here, we have all the buttons for the cruise control as well as your steering wheel mounted audio controls. On the right side, we have some more steering wheel mounted audio controls and then the control buttons for the center LCD display. Tachometer on the left, speedometer on the right. Uh, miscellaneous gauges down below the LCD screen in the middle. Really, really nice actually. Pretty. Uh, user-friendly I would say. Over here we have a massive touchscreen display with I believe this is Ford Uconnect or uh, that's the Ford Sync I believe. It's the fourth generation so it does have uh, CarPlay and Android Auto. It does have the card system so you can have uh, all of your different um, parameters you're monitoring here while having uh, your audio control right over on this side. Underneath that, you have the physical buttons for the radio, as well as your different drive mode button, max defrost, 360 degree camera system, and then your uh, parking assist button. Something to note that this button is one big button. When you push it, the entire thing goes in, but it is somewhat touch capacitive because it knows where you're touching. All the air conditioning and stuff is gonna be controlled through the touchscreen display. Underneath that, you have your hazard light button, USB outlet for the passenger or driver as well as another 12 volt outlet. Cup holders, storage tray, storage tray. Shifter with manual plus minus. Integrated trailer brake control. And then you have four auxiliary upfitter switches which is pretty sweet. So if you are gonna use this for some sort of van life or camper, you can hook up uh, 
auxiliary power and have stuff powered in either the cab or outside. Really nice, cl nice cloth seats with armrests. Glove box is gonna be right here. You also have another storage compartment for the passenger as well as a big cup holder. Up top right here, you have the LED dome light master control button. LED lights right here, and then non-dimming rear view mirror. The vanity is non-lit for driver and passenger, and it's absolutely massive. I am gonna try to do this all in one take, so I'm gonna get up real quick and show you that above the passenger, as well as driver, you have massive storage. Then you have rubberized storage right here. I am about six feet tall on a good day, and I have about 10 inches to a foot of headroom before I, my head hits the top of the vehicle. This LED cargo lighting in here brightens everything up. Tons and tons of space in here. Uh, to get out of the door, you're gonna pull on this, and you're gonna open it, and it opens all the way to the back to maximize cargo loading abilities. If you need to get out through the back of the vehicle, you're gonna come up to the passenger side, pull on this latch, and it's gonna open, and you can get out. Now, this door does open very, very wide. Right now it's in the easiest position to open. That does come almost flush with the body. If you need more loading space, you're gonna come up to this, pull on that, and this is gonna fold all the way back. And there are magnets right here that will actually keep it open for you. So if you're loading something with a forklift in here, you can easily do that. You're gonna pull on this guy right here to open this one all the way. And then again, unlock that. It's gonna come around and lock into place. Easily six feet, six and a half, maybe seven feet of cargo sp uh, space to load. So if you have a tall pallet, it can easily get loaded in this vehicle. Now, to close everything up, you're gonna reverse the process. You are gonna start with the driver's side door though because this one needs to close first. When you close it, it will automatically relatch on that and close. Same with this one. This one will automatically relatch with that guy and it will close. Coming around to the passenger side again, tons and tons of cargo space. You can easily put a bunch of seats in here if you want or shelving units if you're using this as a work vehicle. I absolutely love these cargo vans. Let's take a look at the towing and payload for this vehicle and then the window sticker. So here's the towing and payload sticker for this vehicle. Keep in mind, if you see one on your local lot that's slightly different, it could be because how it's packaged. Uh, typically a good rule of thumb is the more packages you have, the less towing and payload you'll get. Let's take a quick look now at that window sticker. So here's the window sticker for this vehicle. Again, it's a 2023 Ford Transit 350 HD high roof cargo all wheel drive with a 3.5 EcoBoost and a 10 speed automatic transmission. Standard equipment is going to be right here for a base price of $59,660. Optional equipment, which there is a bunch of, is going to be right here. Bringing the total MSRP to $71,850. And because this is considered a heavy duty vehicle, it is not uh, applicable to the EPA uh, performance estimates. I want to give Spirit Ford a huge thank you and shout out for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough of this vehicle. If you're interested in this vehicle or any of the 2023-2024 Ford lineup, I will be posting all the contact info in the description below. Let Cheryl know you saw the video and she'll be more than happy to go over all the discounts, rebates, and incentives you qualify for. If you like the video, please consider giving me a like and share. And if you want to keep up to date with more vehicle walkthroughs, definitely consider subscribing to the channel. And be sure to follow me on Twitter as that's where I will be exclusively posting all of these videos first before YouTube. Also, please be sure to check out all the affiliate links in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.